All right, welcome back. We're on our final episode of the weekend. It's episode 12 of Intelligere. <laughs> I keep wanting to make it Italian. Uh, yeah, Intelligere Mesa. I had it close. I know I named the stupid thing and I can't even pronounce it. So <laughs> we've got... Uh, a lot of high wealth coming in over here and growing up to high density, which is good. <laughs> Excuse me. We've got our academy in. Level 3 upgrade is mostly complete. And we've got our maglevs, as you can see. Of course. And the fusion power plant, which is powering everything. As soon as I get that, uh, I think I have to have academy level for uh, researched. Or, yeah, I think I have to have Academy Level 4 researched, and then I can get the uh, the bigger add-ons for the fusion power plant, and we'll be using that to power basically the, this entire half of the region. As you can see, we've got... Uh, Full packed arcology, which should be helping our workship, our, our people's people working at the places. Can't think of what to call it. A worker situation. Everybody's getting class. It's not a lot of people at the moment because we did just upgrade to high densities or to, to high wealth. So as soon as those upgrade to high density, we'll be good to go on the the residential buildings. There's also, I always forget about it, there's this, which has 1,100 residents. I think they're medium wealth. Hmm, I wonder if we can fit this in somewhere nice. It would be neat to fit this in back here. I don't think it will. And it would definitely fit in over here. I kind of wanted it on this side of the road over here so we could make that look nice too. Hmm. Go over here too. I think we'll put it right over here. That way we get our uh, tourists and stuff right from here. I like to see the balloons come out, it always looks nice. And these futurized commercial buildings are crazy. I use uh, one of the filters to help make this not quite as bright. I, I do have anti aliasing off, uh, it's mostly just because I'm recording for Twitch and everything, so. Uh, that it, it that just helps give me that extra little bit of horsepower out of my graphics card. But uh, I do use one of the softer filters, I forget what it's called, it might even be softer. Um, so everything's not quite as bright, because otherwise it's just super bright colors, but... You know, even with the filter that I use, it's still fairly bright. I kind of wish... This didn't do this, but I guess I don't have much of a choice. Wow, ah, we can research our next thing here. Oh, except that we don't have anything else we can research, because <laughs> we just have the law. Law one there. Oh, we're up to 11,000 residents. That's excellent. We've got some more high wealth residential coming in here. High wealth, high density.
In some places like this where we, I know we can fit four because there's four right back here, we might end up having to mess with the uh, density manually, or where the, the placement of those is, anyway. on a little bit of uh, goods to the global market. <clears throat> Not making a ton of money, but, you know, a little bit extra. We're losing money right now, but that is because we just re, you know, rezoned everything to high wealth and got to get them all to move back in and convert it over to Omega since we just have the, uh, the drones. The yeah, Omega's not making as much as it was, but it's still profitable. Oh, and we're only on, there we go, we're only on cheetah speed, we need, or we're only on llama speed, we need to be on cheetah. A lot of people seem to be using the maglev, which is great, that's why we put it in. Somehow, twice as many writers <laughs> as people we have in the city ride it. Must be all the uh, tourists and stuff. Yeah, we have a lot of people visiting the city, uh, commuting in for residential, uh, for, for work and stuff. Some of these have unsold goods, so I might convert one of these sections, like right over here maybe. Um, into residential, maybe this longer section here. I'll break that into residential. Let's see how that grows. Otherwise, over here we have all the uh, high well or the uh, high tech businesses or high tech industrial, which is great. And then we just zoned this side a little bit ago, so we're waiting for it to uh, grow up. Although we do have a few that have, so it's perfect. A lot of people walking, which I definitely like to see. I'm just kind of waiting for everything to increase uh, density a little bit here. So some. Low wealth need, says that they want some uh, <laughs> some uh, commercial, but they don't because this is going to be high wealth soon enough. Oh, we should turn on another one of our sewage pumps. I actually turn on two of them. Okay. I'm doing a lot of I can turn one of these on too. Power's still very good. We can still turn on one more of these fusion generators if we need to. Got a lot of freight in here. Let's see how we're picking up our garbage. <coughs> we 
everything's getting picked up fairly quickly. But based on how many um, bins we have, I think we should turn on another one of these. Oops. That's all producing very well. Yeah, since these guys are all educated and everything, they're all going to recycle pretty well. Even though there's Omega in the city. Yeah, it's all getting picked up very well. As a, ah, 87%. Let's see how we're doing on control night and everything. Florentine. Let's check population panel here. Still got a lot of high wealth jobs available. We'll fill some of that in when we uh, increase wealth over here, but I want them to increase density first. check the land value over here too. So yeah, we do have a little bit of a low land value in the middle. I think, I think we can turn some of that up here. Let's see what we have. We'll put an amphitheater in right at the corner here. One of these corners. Hmm, it's going to take out a lot of buildings that I don't want to take out. Yeah, let's do that. I can take that one out. I'm okay with that. But I don't want that building to go away. Alright. There we go. I think we're pretty okay with that. I think based on the amount of unsold goods we have, we're actually going to move this commercial out here. So we're going to zone commercial here. And then we're going to rezone this to residential up here. Something like that. Hello, Chris. Chris um, fan. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Maglev status here. Basically everybody in the city, although there's a lot of people commuting in, are using the Maglev. I have a few tourists coming in too.
almost done with the academy upgrade here. How's our happiness? Everybody's improving. That's good. Everybody's pretty happy and it's improving. These buildings do look cool, it's futurized ones. the academy. Fusion reactor level now. Suppose this one. And I would have liked to put it right here, but I don't think it'll fit. So I want it to go. Yeah, I would I'm I'm gonna have to rearrange this road a little bit, I think. Which is gonna suck. Well no because it's just I can just push that over. So let's pause this real quick. I'm going to bulldoze this. And... If I can grab the tunnel here. And bulldoze the tunnel. And some of this. And probably this, but we'll, we'll replace a lot of this. As soon as I figure out where this thing will fit. Right there. <laughs> Hot air balloon. Oop. Let's see if I can get a side view of it. There you go. A little hot air balloon action. <laughs> And then, see, I could draw a road there, but I want to go underneath. I don't think it'll let me. Oh, yeah. See, why didn't why wouldn't it let me before? There we go. This entryway looks pretty cool. Coming in with all the maglevs and the academy down here. Yeah. Hot air balloon. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna zoom. Let's research something too here. We can switch those over to the garbage atomizer. That might be fun. Take up a little bit more control net though. Might as well research it, just in case. Hazmat fire. Oh. Alright, that went away quick. Still got the vast majority of all our students enrolled. City's still fairly small in population, though. And I think we need to adjust this 
the densities here. Or not the densities, but you know, fix the grouping. This is going to slide over a little more. <clears throat> yeah, right in the corner like that. I'm going to let that grow in and then we'll grow the next one. So I fix the building sometimes when they do, you know, this sort of thing where they don't take up the space correctly. Or at least the way that I want them to. Some tourists coming in, but I think I need to install the airship in uh, the other city in order to have them commute. That's right, we researched this thing, the detective wing. So we put those on. We still have some room over here that we can do something with. I'm not sure yet. I'm, we might end up needing another sewage plant sometime. A little bit of a backup going out of the freeway, but like I said this before, they take it down to one lane here, so it's a little bit of a pain almost no matter what you do to get out. But it's not too bad. And there doesn't seem to be a ton of people using um, this intersection, but that's mostly because everybody's using maglev. Or they use these little shortcut side streets. A lot of people coming in on the train. Yeah, virtually no activity on them. a bit. Mostly people taking it the wrong way. <laughs> wow, got a lot of freight being used. Wonder if we can put another one in here under this maglev. Let's see if it'll fit. Not very many. <laughs> I don't want to put it over there. Nah. I think I do want to put a little bit of tourism in this city, though. That tower's a little big. But the Tokyo Tower, maybe? Fit in there? Oh, no, it won't fit in there. How about a uh, Statue of Liberty? Well, don't look good though. No Leaning Tower, Pizza will. Willis Tower. Oh, this one always looks abandoned, so I don't terribly, <laughs> I don't terribly like it. Colner Dome. Oh yeah, this thing's big. I forgot about that. Looks kind of cool, but it's giant. It's kind of like the Opera House. The Opera House is huge. Uh, oh, uh, Oslo Opera House is huge too. That would fit in there. Look kind of nice. Possible, possible. Hmm. Let's see how this looks. Oh, I like that. 
That looks very nice. Should we face it on this side of the city, though? Yeah. Yeah, that looks very nice. It even kind of matches with the cityscape a bit. Probably can put... Yeah, we'll see, we can put Big Ben over here, too, but I don't know if I want a second tower like that. Arc de Triomphe, bit. Kind of look good. That one's too big. We put the windmill in somewhere, like way over here in the corner. If you're a Futurama fan, I always want to hear Morbo whenever I put this windmill in. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm referring to, watch The Simpsons. Uh, the episode, I think, I believe it's called Crimes of the Hot. It's a funny episode. Futurama. Cancelled like 12 times. Not 12, but 5 at least. I don't know what else to put in here. Because we've got these attractions too. Larry the Large Llama. It's kind of large. Maxis Man. See how this looks. Kind of like the Maxis Man statue. I think we'll go. I think we'll go with it. I right, so we have a little bit more tourism attraction in the city. Make a little bit more money. I wonder if they can get there. I didn't even think about that. You should be able to. Oh. I wonder if I have to bring Maglev there. Hmm, that might be annoying. Oh, I see. They're able to kind of like jump straight up onto this bridge. And then somehow end up over here. I don't know. Sims have a, a tendency to teleport. So. <laughs> well, we'll see how that goes. I'm not going to do gambling. Producing 11,000 control net now. Once we research these garbage atomizers, we'll replace the ones we have with, with those. How's our happiness doing? Hey, we got 80%. Not enough shoppers for medium wealth, okay. Places to ship your freight. Well, you know, I was looking for that, and I'm not sure. How much extra do we have? None. It looks like we're fine on freight. Okay, no, 500 there. Okay. And how much does one of these hold? Five. Hmm. Yeah, see that fills up real quick. Bam. Yeah, so we definitely need another one. I could take this out. That's kind of playing with fire because if anything happens and the fusion plant goes down, then we gotta reboot it. You know what? That's okay though. We'll take it out. No 
what we'll do. Let's put this at the corner? No. Let's put this over here. And then we can just put a whole bunch of freight places here. And actually, I have a better idea. Put the trade port in because it's got bigger boxes that's for freight. And then we can move the other one and put something else there. And one more there. There, now we'll let those fill up. And I'm going to demolish this. So I think we're still going to end up having to put a couple more freight on there, but we should be able to satisfy the industrial that way. Um, for whatever the, the commercial doesn't take once it grows over here. Uh, time to upgrade our mayor's mansion. This looks like it's high density now. Oh. But. It didn't take the whole thing. There's a little. little thing right there. We really need to do the same thing here. Oh, dang it. Maglev tracks sometimes get in the way. High wealth. Basically all over here. A little bit of dip there, but I think that's going to be fine.
Yeah, all right. Now Industrial has plenty of places to ship their freight. Another upgrade. Okay, I mean, this one's all in. Excellent. Let's see if we can get another high density high wealth in here nicely. Sometimes the curve makes it a little bit funky. There we go. That one actually came in quite nicely. I'm getting lucky right now. Normally they don't they don't fit in by themselves like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, and now that we took that out, we don't need any more industrial, so we'll wait a minute before we put anything in there. We can dezone some of that. Take out the little filler spaces that or filler pieces that build in. Do the same with the back side here. Pieces. One right there. Oh, I had you. And there's this little thing. Oh, come on, maglev tracks. There. Grow to high density, hopefully. Hopefully, it'll fit there. Eighty one percent approval, doing all right. I think we should do the same over here of moving our commercial to the outside. And in fact, we can zone it right up to there. residential all along here. There. And maybe back here too. I'm going to continue to let the city grow for just a second and grab another beverage here. Mm 
Okay. I'm back. I'm not sure why that says not enough room to increase density. Looks like there should be. I mean, there's a second one here. Totally fine on that. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's good there. They're just whiners. But what we need to do is dezone that, pull those that little piece of road, and then rezone there. I see we need to push that over a little bit. Take it a minute to grow. Hopefully, we can get a high density building to fit there. Well, I don't think anything will actually even grow. So, we might have to put commercial there. Because they, they're a little bit smaller, their buildings in width. But in the meantime, we can oops, start working on the back part here. Getting this zoning a little bit closer. That went in very nicely. This one seems to be taking its time. <laughs> mm, there might have to be a little bit of gap there. this to commercial and see if it fills in better. Then we can take this, change it to residential, and same with this side. It's only going to fit two anyway. So that is fine. Suppose this is. No, uh, because we can at least fit a commercial in or something. Let's do zone first. Mag left track a little again. Uh, 
Ja. We're still losing a little bit of money. It's okay. I think we can actually take off a couple of these. Everything else is still doing very well. Hmm. Except that I think we need... Well, not yet. We don't need another garbage truck yet. But we do need another recycling truck. Well, it seems to be making some money, so apparently they're getting there. visiting. Heh. <laughs> Interesting, you can convert that to Omega. Oh, uh, that, that's kind of cool. <laughs> there. Should fit pretty well. I'm just waiting on a couple of. Oh, probably because of this. I think we can take out this and it'll fit. Yep, see, there it goes. <laughs> So we're going to have to do a uh, commercial. I don't think anything will grow in quite like I want it to there. like another one to grow here, or maybe here even. So let's try to get one to But I think this might be sticking out a little bit too far. I think it's sticking out too far. Take some more time to optimize those uh, 
better a little bit later. Oops. But it looks like we're getting a little bit better on money. I'm thinking about putting in the Empire State Building somewhere. So I can put in one more. I mean, and I don't really plan to do a ton of tourism. But this one does do a good amount of um, commercial as well. So I kind of like to take up one of my commercial spaces with it. Maybe here? Maybe over here. I think we'll do that. <coughs> that way all the tourism is kind of on this side of the city. Got a lot of people trying to get out. Seems to be... There you go. A little bit of a back up there for a minute. Alright. I'm done with our research project here. So let's research the Academy Level 4 upgrade, and then we can have massive amounts of power. Starting to get tourists. And that one's got some tourists. Well, we still have some high wealth jobs that need to be filled. Everything's looking very cool here. And I think we're going to increase the wealth on this side of the city here. Do another launch park. I think it will do another urban hot air balloon park. That would be neat. I think we'll put it right here. I can put one of these next to it. I think we'll put one here, and then add on to it a little bit. Okay, very little bit. <laughs> and I think we'll also put a small one, maybe the square one over here. Eh, no, not quite. I can put this one. do the same over here. Oops. Wasn't where I wanted it. There we go. Hmm. 
Most of the time I can get it to snap onto those ones that have like one red and one blue. It doesn't seem to want to right now. Snap, damn you. Alright. Fine, we'll do it with this one. There, good enough. else do we need wealth? Alright, let's do this side now. Well, see, no, it kind of wants to snap there, but it's not the right one. Alright. <laughs> Same problem as last time. <laughs> And then I think we can put one in the inside here. Do a whole other row of these next to it. Here, huh? That should be good enough for now. Let that go for a little while. Oh, we can replace these as well. <clears throat> and we only need like two of them, I think, for now. If even. All the garbage picked up by about 3 p.m. We're still doing good there. And 
almost every single person is educated. Put one of these in. There's a little bit of a texture glitch on the road there. It just happens. It's not really a good way to fix it. Oh yeah, we can't research anything because, well, we have it in the school of law. Starting to fill that up. Mm, working on filling that up. I'm gonna make sure that these are medium density. Yeah, medium density. Not enough room. How do you not have enough room? You totally have enough room. this research going. Fourteen percent to the next one. But this academy is looking good coming down here. It's pretty cool. Little hologram design there. Still fit more tourists there. You can probably get over there from the magma that's right here, too. Need a lot of this to grow up over here, get higher density. There's always hot air balloons <laughs> flying from somewhere in the city. You can see a lot of maglev riders there. You can tell that 
almost every single one of our residents rides. It's like 29, yeah, it's basically every single resident rides the maglev, and uh, <clears throat> all the tourists basically do too. <laughs> A lot of people coming in on the rail. A lot of people coming in there. It's all tourists, it just tells me riders. Oh, they're all residents. That's good. Commuters. I like that. We're almost profitable again. I think as some more of these increase into high density, we'll get very profitable. How's our happiness? 83%. There's, there's no low wealth commercial, so I'm not sure that's going to weird. Not enough shoppers needs workers. Okay. Well, everything seems pretty good here. So we're approaching the end of the episode here. We're actually going to do a quick jump over to our other city. Um, I'm going to do one little thing, and that's install the airship hangar so we can get some um, resident riders going on that, because uh, it's all completely tourist at this moment. We'll also give it a chance to update. Oh, thank you, little Ruben. I'm glad you enjoy. Um, if you've ever watched Yuto's videos, they're uh, very inspired by him. Or at least that one was. This one was inspired by trying to relieve traffic. Plus, this is just a really cool bridge to tunnel to bridge to land to, or to, yeah, wait. Tunnel to bridge to tunnel to bridge intersection. <laughs> it's just kind of cool. But we'll update this city a little bit here. <clears throat> and I want to install. Oops, there the airship hangar. I think I'm going to just put it right over here. I'm actually going to take out the old shuttle bus depot. Take out the police precinct and move them to the end. Uh, the road building, Lil Ruben, is in. It's either on my YouTube channel, which is linked just uh, below the main window there, um, or it's in one of my highlights. I think all of the first episode of this city, uh, I think it's episode 10. It's called Codename Research City because I didn't have a name for the city yet. <laughs> But I can get you a link on YouTube in just a moment here, as soon as I finish building this uh, couple things. Oh, damn it, and I was actually going to put the police station down here. There we go. There we go. 
go. Oh, yeah, you found it. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, basically spent that run building the, the main interchange, and then the next episode I spent filling out much of the rest of it. Um, what was I doing here? Oh, uh, transportation. There we go. <laughs> yeah, um, and I highly, uh, highly suggest watching Yuto. It's, uh, here, let me spell it in chat. You'll get this way before you hear me say it. Um, if you look for his videos on, on YouTube, he's got a lot of great, great stuff. Um, it helped inspire some of the, some of the stuff that I do for roads. Um, there's actually just really a lot of good stuff in general on YouTube for that. There. And then we can install some maglev in here later, maybe. Maybe delivery's a little slow still. This one's still got a lot of traffic. I want to put maglev in here one of these days. Uh, I haven't done it yet, though. Mostly just want to update this with the rest of the region and there we go. Yeah, so now I start having to, having some resident riders. And I would like more workers to commute in from the arcology, but they seem to be slow about it. Start a research project over here. <coughs> we don't really need any of them, but it's good too. Are we not enough omega? Yeah. I wonder why this isn't producing its full amount of omega. It's getting plenty of shipments because it's just right here. I'm not sure. What was that one? Oh, that one was metal. We can replace that, actually. Forgot. There. You are very welcome, little Reuben. It's always cool to see in, uh, interesting builds. So now I think this city has been updated a bit. Let's check, because it should have a full, yeah, full population for the ecology. Um, oh, the other thing I want to do is volunteer a couple vehicles, because we can. And let's check this real quick. Workers are pretty much staying where they're supposed to for the moment. Choppers, huh? freight, staying. Students are commuting over some. Odd. Buy some power and stuff. That way, in case we need it. We send half of them over because we're going to have the other city. Uh, we're going to build the other city soon here. And we won't deliver our... <laughs> we, we won't, uh, deploy our Omega trucks over there yet. But everything's bustling in this city and making a lot of money. Mostly because we're making processors and everything. You can see me build this city in the first section of the series. Uh, I think it's the first nine episodes. Um, 
We'll come back and visit this city and do do some revamping to it. Um, I think after we build our amusement park city, we're going to build a total tourism and amusement park and commercial city. Um, very minimal residential, no industrial at all. That's going to be the other one on this island. So the the third city on this island is going to be over here, and then I think we're going to start going. Oops, I didn't mean to click on that. <laughs> Then I think we're going to go over to this section here and build our space center um, and some more industrial and uh, maybe some commercial and stuff. A lot of residential over here. But let's go back into this city. Let it get all caught up with the, uh, the high wealth residential riders and then we'll call it an episode. There we go. We'll also volunteer the vehicles in this city in just a moment. Looks like traffic is flowing pretty well. Got a little bit of a bottleneck here. It seems to be working itself out slowly. Yeah, there we go. Oh, our, this is our garbage dump is almost full. Why would that be? Oh, a lot of garbage, I guess. Let's put another one of these on, and let's turn our oops, let's turn our other two atomizers on. Level 4 upgrade is coming along slowly but surely. Everything's being picked up there. Doing great on buildings, doing great on health. <laughs> great on crime. Alright. And education is great as well. The whole city is great. <laughs> Let's check our wait times. Trains. Planes. Should have residential riders showing up here soon. Maglev's got zero minute wait, as it should. Some more of these increasing into higher densities. Okay. So this city is doing very well. Almost profitable. And everyone's very, very happy. Let's volunteer a couple of these vehicles. I think we're already buying, yeah, we're already buying that stuff. Yeah. So, we're going to call this an episode. I hope you've enjoyed. If you uh, want to see, catch me live when I stream, I usually, uh, it's the end of the weekend, so I'm coming up on the week, and I usually stream for about an hour most nights. So, if you want to follow me and catch me live when I do, you can follow me on Twitch. Uh, you can also subscribe to my channel on YouTube if you want to uh, watch my videos after the fact. I always record them and post them up there. It's been great having you here to watch with me, and I'll see you again.